a message to the skeptics. Watch out. We're watching you. Coming up on The World of Trucking. Howdy ho, trucking champs. We are getting started. A wet day, of course. We are bound for Arizona. Having started out from Cleveland, Ohio. You now know something about what I'm doing. So I figured today I'd cover a little bit of the why. And of course, along the way, Talk about some other things too. What's the why in what you do? Every one of us have a different reason for doing what we do. Some of us like the freedom and independence. Others like the scenery. Comment to be sure. Share your experiences with others. What's on your why list? Is it a personal goal? Are you just killing time? Working through into retirement? Fenton, Missouri, Unigroup Group Headquarters. The only bad part of this place is the long walk. I'm here to get a, an easy pass because the boss doesn't want to have to pay these huge fees for going through tolls. So the big question is, why? Moreover, why am I trucking? Why am I doing what I do? I've been in transportation all of my adult life. At the age of 18, my first job, in fact, was that of a tow truck driver. Found out early on I had a skill, and I capitalized on it. Worked that for about a year or so, and had a lot of fun doing it. That's where I got my start. I then moved on to a more exciting field. If this video's given you any perspective into the mind of a man in the world of trucking, please go down below and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to learn more about the world of trucking. As does frequently happen, you grow up and you tend to get a better grasp on health. There's more to life than just a tow truck. <laughs> so I then graduated to another job, which I enjoyed, <clears throat> and that was, I moved out to a parts counter associate at a local truck stop for about, I want to say six to nine months, I was working there, and like happens to everybody in life, life kind of gets in the way and things happen, so I wound up getting married and moving out of state. My next and most lengthy employment foray into transportation happened when I lucked out finding an ad in the help wanted section, answered it, and before, no, before even getting through the interview, pretty much was hired to become a taxi driver. And over the course of 26 years, worked my way up through the ranks and became the operations manager in charge of the entire company. So when it comes to the question of why, it's just something I like to do. It's something I've always done. And the only difference between what I do today 
and what I did for the 30 some years leading up to it was I think it gave me a very wide perspective on what is possible and at the same time necessary in transportation. It's a big place out here. It involves a lot. There's taxis, trucks, cars, buses, you know, trains. And I pretty much have experienced all of it. So I answered the why, but there's one thing left you don't know about. And that's why I do the YouTube channel. I think it's quite simple, actually. For all these years of experience that I've had and all of the many questions I've often had gone unanswered, I've always often thought there's only one way that I feel satisfied giving back. I often had a lot of questions and I often had to dig deep to find some of the answers. I had to learn a lot of very valuable lessons, not by accident, but by failing. But it was a learning process, not all the same. And of course here, my latest foray with owning a truck, I've learned a great wealth of information. Overall, all that being put into a nice little box that you can see on what's called YouTube. You guys can understand certain things work and certain things don't. But it might save you something, you know. So I'm quite happy, quite exhilarated, quite thrilled to have a YouTube channel. And furthermore, have two other channels whereby not only are you learning from me, but I'm also learning from you as well. So that's the why. That's what drives me. Comment down below what drives you. Let us know what it's like for you in the world of trucking. Giving back to the trucking industry is about as American as apple pie. There are other YouTube personalities that do other things and have recently received a little bit of kickback from a lot of you, not only watching their videos, but watching some of mine. And I'd like to address that here on this vlog today. When disaster strikes, it's the truckers that pick up and bring aid to those in need. Whether it's a hurricane, a fire, a flood, any disasters come up, we'll turn the key and we'll get them done. If the recent floods in Asheville, in the North Carolina area, and the events going on in Florida with Milton, aren't a way of proving that I don't know what is. Now I could roll footage channel after channel, video after video of examples of truckers that step up and answer the call. Now I get it, there's a lot of people that do take advantage of others. It does exist. I have a few videos on that trucking that exemplify that. They do all the time. But I have a message for the naysayers who love to sit behind keyboards and criticize every single thing they see and think that there's some nefarious reason behind every frame of video footage others put on YouTube. They say things like, oh, they're in it for the views. Or they're just trying to make a quick buck off the suffering of others. Let me tell you something. That kind of skepticism is a recipe for stagnation. 
When did we become a society that doubts every single person? When did that start? This vlog and the purpose of my message does not solely extend to those leaving comments on said videos. This also applies to the very creators I'm defending as well. I've seen a number of creators out there that are putting out, and I'm not naming channel names, and I'm not naming videos, but these creators put out videos that seem to comment and put down these very people who are their brethren. There are truckers on the YouTube platform that are calling out other truckers, some of whom I personally know, others whom I don't, as if they're charlatans, as if they're in it for just the money and the views. Now there's no such thing as a perfect YouTube recipe. I'm learning as I go. But I'm not in this just for the views, okay? I am in this to transmit messages, to inform and educate, and at the very surrounding edges of all that I just said, I look to entertain. But for those of you that sit there, not only in the comments, but also as creators, and look at others' works and others' comments as if there is an angle, stop and think and ask yourself one question. When was the last time you stopped what you were doing, full stop, and walked out and actually helped someone else 500 miles away from you? Before we start casting stones, my friend, you might want to look deeper within yourself and ask, well, if they can do it and put it on YouTube, when was the last time I did it? I will happily go out of my way and run myself near exhaustion because someone in need would benefit by my help. I am not going to sit back and in background criticize others for what is obviously a means of giving back and helping others. And to those that do, shame on you. Let me leave you with this. The real enemy is not the YouTubers with a Mack truck and a passion. The real enemy are the very people like yourself that sit there and criticize every single trucker with a camera thinking we've got an angle. I urge you before you sit and comment on others or create a video commenting or opining on others' skepticism, think about what you're doing. Are you changing the world? Are you helping others? So the truth is we need more people that are willing to help unite others. We need people that are willing to bring together ideas, creativity, and the passion to drive it home and get it done. We don't need people sitting in the background second guessing every reason why. So here's my message. You might feel like you're being clever and you might think like you're doing something, but in reality, it's the quickest way to get stuck in neutral. You know, in closing this video, I just wanna let you guys know, those in my audience and those that have watched or seen any of my videos, I stand on the side of those that are willing to go the extra mile to help. Whether they put it on camera or not, I stand behind them to the just truckings, to the gentries, to the trucking togethers, and to all those out there with a YouTube personality and presence on the platform that help, that show it, and that mean it. You keep right on doing what you're doing, my, my friends. You will always have my support, and I have your back. Don't let those skeptics sway you. 
We'll be right here at your back door, giving you all the support and help you need. If you like this kind of style video, please go down below, hit the like button, consider subscribing, because we are all about improving your life, keeping you informed, and showing you what it's like in the world of trucking. Remember guys, without trucks, the world stops. We'll be here keeping it real while you keep it rolling.